First, uh, you start with the short jumps. Gauge the distance carefully and... Whoa, what? Whoa! Don't take gravity too lightly or it'll catch up with you. Hey guys and girls, this is Slip Matt from Slippy Slides. Now, as you might have noticed if you've seen any of my videos, most of them involve knife jumping or sniper jumping at some point. And I get a lot of messages on here asking me on tips of how I do it. So I've decided to make this video as a kind of tutorial video uh, to show what setups I use and what options I use, etc. And hopefully it can help some of you guys out if you're struggling to do it. So let's get straight into it. First off, game options, doesn't really matter too much, I set them both to unlimited. Player options, I use double health and fast regeneration, so you can regenerate your health faster once you've been knifed. The team options, the most important one on here is friendly fire, you need that enabled so your teammates can hit you with the knife. And obviously wave spawn delay, uh, take that off. Spawn delay, take that off. Gameplay options, doesn't really matter as long as you don't enable hardcore. Obviously, you'd just die. And that's pretty much it for the options. You can always fly back through these and they can have a look. So, for my loadout, what I use is a combat knife and just a, any sort of pistol, doesn't really matter which. I don't have any lethals or any tacticals. Uh, perks, I use ready up, sleight of hand, agility, marathon, on the go, resilience, and ICU. Sleight of hand doesn't really matter, and neither does on the go, to be, to be honest. Neither does ready up, but. There, so I just use them. The main one you want is resilience for if you fall off anything and obviously marathon and agility are quite important to be able to jump further. Other than that the strike package doesn't really matter so let's get straight into it. With this one I'm gonna use a glitch that I found a while back on the map departed. It was an out the map glitch just using one knife jump so it's perfect for this sort of thing. So my friend, she's looking at these clouds and there's a small gap in the clouds that you'll see when you look up. What I'm going to do is just line myself up in front of her on top of the boxes and the speakers and then spin round aim for just the sort of left hand side of that speaker that's stood up next to the wall. Get a knife jump across. And then you're free to roam outside the map. So here it is from my perspective, so this is what I do when I'm knife jumping someone out of the map. So obviously you want to come back behind these boxes and look up at the clouds and aim for that gap again. And then my friend, she's going to line herself up in front of me ready for the knife jump. And some people use uh, counting down from three and on one knife jump. Some use a gun method where they fire the gun three times and on the third shot then they use the knife jump. It's up to you where you want to do it, find which way is best for you. So there we go, that's from my perspective. Here it is again in slow motion, so just as she starts to run, she'll jump, and then I press the button for the knife and goes onto the roof. Gives her that extra boost. It probably is worth noting that I do use the tactical crawler setup as well, fire. rather than the default one. It's just easier to hit the B button rather than the joystick. So there it is again, just from a third person's perspective. Or more. So I hope that's helped you out guys with your knife jumping. Got any more questions, please let me know. So on to the sniper jump. So for the loadout for the sniper jumping, I normally use the L115. Uh, with a variable zoom lens and a chrome line barrel uh, just to give it that extra kick and that extra damage makes them go a bit further when they're jumping the rest of the stuff is pretty much similar to knife jumping the perks that you use I also use a magnum just sometimes for smaller jumps because you can use the pistol jumping as well and the magnum's got the best damage to it so we're on the map bay view and this was a glitch that I found quite a while back. I will post the video on the description just so you can find out how I actually got to this side. Uh, my friend's down there and she's got a sniper rifle, the L115, and she's just going to give me a quick sniper jump up onto the top of the roof of the gift shop. So 
So here it is in slow motion. So just as I'm starting to jump, steam is starting to go up, and then you'll notice that I get damage when the bullets hits me. So it gives you that extra kick and that boost, get you up onto the top of the roof. So here it is again, and this time I'm going to be the one giving the sniper jump to my friend who's up there floating on the side of the gift shop roof, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is basically zoom in between her legs, and once she's ready, she's going to count down from three to one, and on one she's going to jump, and I'm going to shoot her exactly the same time. And hopefully that should send her up onto the roof, so there we go. So here it is in slow motion going to count down from three just as she gets to one she's going to start to jump pretty much going to fire my gun straight away hits her in the leg there but it doesn't really matter still sends her onto the roof there we go taking fire, taking fire. so here it is again just from another couple of angles so you can see it from a different view That's pretty much about it for this one guys and girls, I think I've pretty much covered everything but if you do have any questions or if you think I've missed something please let me know and I'll certainly try and answer any questions you have as soon as I can. I'd just like to say a huge thanks to all my subscribers, I'm nearly on 50 now so I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching and I hope this video helps if you are struggling with knife jumping or sniper jumping, it just takes a bit of practice more than anything so just stick with it. The next video is going to be when the new maps are released, so I'm looking forward to seeing them and seeing what we can find on them. So I'll catch you soon. Take care, guys and girls.